Hi everyone, those that know Jesus and those that don't, um, I just wanted to quickly share the good news if you don't know Jesus. Um, Jesus is God and he died for you. He died for all of your sins on the cross and he was buried and he rose again the third day. All who call upon the name of the Lord Jesus will be saved. Um, I just implore you to please um, trust in Jesus and uh, pray pray to him. Just ask him for forgiveness. And, um, and when you realize, when you believe on Jesus, you realize, you know, you're a sinner. When you realize you're a sinner in, in need of a savior and you call upon him and, and you really, you believe in your heart. When that, that moment happens, when you really believe and the Lord gives us that gift of faith, the Lord Jesus, um, but I just pray you um, call out to him in this late hour because Jesus is coming. He's coming so soon for his church and the rapture of the church is, is going to happen so very soon. Um, just an update uh, from the news of what just came out today of the U.S. declaring, um, I believe it was uh, the vice president declaring that there were there are crimes against humanity that Russia Russia has committed, and President Putin is given his speech giving his speech this Tuesday, and it, I this is it I think this is really it and uh, so many brothers and sisters have been shown this war coming to the United States they have seen the bombs falling and the rapture happening simultaneously. And um, I, I don't know how long we have, you know, after he gives his speech Tuesday, even if, you know, we don't know. We have to live every day like the Lord could come back today because he really could. Um, but this is just all coming down the pipe so fast. And um, the Lord gave me this verse as I was writing out this prayer to him. Um, it's from Isaiah 4, 15 and 16. So man will be brought low and mankind humbled, the eyes of the arrogant humbled, but the Lord Almighty will be exalted by his justice and the Holy God will show himself holy by his righteousness. Um, this is what's going to happen um, is the prophet Isaiah prophesied, um, you know, the judgments against Israel, but also he's there's prophecy about the end end days and what the tribulation is going to be like. And, um, you know, the word of God is timeless and what God has done before he will do again. And he's, I believe he's bringing in these nations to, uh, destroy America as judgment. And, um, I believe the cup of wrath, wrath has been filled. And so, um, be encouraged though. This is, this is not a doom and gloom, although this sounds awful and sad, but for those, and it, it is awful and sad if you don't know Jesus, but for those that do know Jesus, oh my goodness, this is what we've been waiting for is our deliverance out of this evil world and to be with our Lord and savior and to be in the beauty of his holiness. And I just want to encourage myself and others out there to just fix your eyes upon the Lord and to spend these moments um, just sharing the gospel boldly and whatever that means, uh, handing out gospel packets or telling your friends and um, sending an email, a text message, whatever the Lord leads you to do, just share Jesus in these final moments, show his love and his grace to others and um and tell, tell others that he's coming back, you know, when the rapture happens, there'll be a great deception and they'll probably say, oh, that they were abducted by aliens or, you know, who knows what, um, when the war goes down, maybe they'll, who knows, but the Lord knows and we are in his hands and, um, we are safe and, um, we are not appointed to his wrath because what's coming on this world right now is different than all the times before. This is going to be his his wrath, his full blown wrath, and it's going to be uh, this, the the seven year tribulation is going to be um, Jacob's trouble. It's going to be um, for the Jewish nation to have a revival and wake up and come to the Lord. And um, yeah, and I just encourage you to reread. Um, to or to read, you know, 
Revelation, the book of Revelation and Isaiah and Daniel and and just meditate on um, just the goodness of the Lord and his justice and his but also in his mercy and the hope that we have uh, for those that believe the hope of heaven. And I just will leave you with this verse. The eternal God is your refuge and underneath are everlasting arms. Deuteronomy 33, 27. God is our refuge. He's our strength and he's coming for us. He really is. And um, so be blessed, be encouraged as we see this downfall of humanity and this wickedness. The Lord will bring mankind low, but he will be exalted and um, that will be a wonderful thing. And so um, be encouraged, brothers and sisters. Okay, love to you all. Bye.